scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Listen to me. If you really want to walk in power and all the dimensions of the grace of God, I give you a, an irrefutable key. Number one, high-level spiritual illumination. You must know what the exceeding and precious promises are, and then you must find out how they operate. See, knowing the promise is one part of your understanding, but you must know how to release the supply to your life. Most people do not know the promises. Others know the promises, but they do not know how to release it to their lives. This is why God puts conferences like this. So that there are moments where you come with the word and speaker after speaker. Are we together now? They come and with sound exegesis of the word, they open you to various dimensions that help you access these exceeding precious promises. of your understanding what version is this being enlightened let's go to amplified again that you may know the hope of your calling thank you and he says to which he has called you and the riches of his glorious inheritance where in the saints show us the ancient path Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Will you show us the ancient path? Lead us along eternal highway. We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your end. Apostle, I'm in a state right now where this teaching has opened me up to gross spiritual ignorance. I can say of a truth that I have not found this enabling grace working in my life. Where do I start from? It starts with a decision. That I'm going to commit myself this year to be in pursuit of light I'm going to cut away from vain activities that only distract and flatter and pursue substance as far as my destiny is concerned seeing then that my exploits are grace dependent and that this grace is knowledge dependent my passion for that grace must be expressed through my passion for knowledge structured knowledge that works because the Bible says, listen carefully it says that was the true light that means there are false lights they carry a semblance of results and you waste your time around them only to find out that they cannot translate to the profiting of your destiny, in fact the Bible says it this way, Paul mentoring his son in the gospel, he says meditate on these things, he says give yourself wholly to them that your profiting may appear unto how many? 
I made up my mind like never before that I will put myself in the position of a student who does not know anything. Because First Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 says, Let him that thinks he knows anything, it says, that he should know that he does not know anything yet as he ought to know. So I challenge myself. I thank God for what God is doing. But there is a benchmark. It says this one thing I do. Is that in your Bible? Forgetting the things that are behind. It didn't say forgetting bad things. Forgetting the things that are behind. He says I press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ. I press. I press. I press. Study. Study. The Bible says to follow them who through faith and patience have obtained. Do you know that what you are calling your future is already somebody's reality? There are people who by reason of the investment of the spirit, they have toured this earth. I'm telling you, they have tamed life like an animal. There are some them you can follow. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you and i will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in you listen the moment you start settling i am better than my relatives in the village you have pegged yourself at a level you see the character of champions is that they never see the finish line it is only the spectators that see the finish line. A champion has lost the ability to see the finish line. When coaches train champions, they extend the finish line by several meters beyond the actual finish line so that psychologically they peg themselves at a higher standard and they are surprised on the day of competition that they finished because their mind still believes they should go further. Let me challenge someone here. It is too early to start clapping for yourself. I celebrate what you have started doing, but if your pastor, your man of God, the prophet over your life is still with energy and passion driving, you don't rest on the second day. You rest on the seventh day. Some of you are already resting even before the seventh, the seventh day. Apostle, I went to my small fellowship. Oh, Apostle, I was invited for a fellowship and my goodness, the word was so powerful. Who marked you? By what parameters did you vet that meeting? In an exam where the highest student scored 7%, if you are given a word for first position, he's the one who will get it. He still failed. But he failed the highest. If you now categorize people into a great system of F, uh, what they call it, E down to A, all the people both the first position and the one who didn't write the exam will be in one category. Be careful who is clapping for you. Now, I'm not saying don't, don't enjoy. There are times to pat yourself at the back. But let me tell you, there is, there is the spirit of mediocrity that has stopped many people from accessing grace. Arriving too early, celebrating over nothing. We are talking of days where you will keep nations still for Jesus. I minimize my hearing and my seeing of anything that is able to distract me. No. It is a formula that has worked powerfully for me. If I hear you clapping from afar, I tell you God bless you from afar and let's get to work. For as long as there is somebody not healed, for as long as sick people come, 500 of them and two are healed, we give God glory, but that's not the best. Come on. one house and you're about to sleep what if God says so it you are not there mm, you are not there you are not there stop arriving too early you're not there 
this is a prophetic word for someone. Don't say, I am better than my relatives. We are talking about the nations. We are talking about revealing Jesus to nations and territories. Let me find somewhere to tie up my teaching so we pray. High level spiritual illumination. Write this down please. Backed up by a life of prayer and fellowship with the spirit. 2 Corinthians 13, 14. 2 Corinthians 13, 14. Let me prophesy to someone. You don't have to stand. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for you. So I submit to his work in me till Christ be formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to his work in me the week you came for this conference be patient something is happening that you are not yet seeing we have been trained to celebrate success by external parameters but it happens within out you are the transforming church the holy ghost is breathing upon you and doing something upon your spirit man i know no one has risen in your family i know they have concluded that nobody can any can ever rise can anything good come out of nazareth nathaniel said listen it was not Nathaniel's fault. He was not lying. Find out how many Nazarenes died shamelessly in the Bible. He knew what he was saying. Find out about Samson. That they rise and fall. And he said, Jesus, we know that you are just a balloon that will rise up and not last. And Jesus said, I may not seem to last, but mine is not weakness. It's for a cause. Nathaniel said, can anything good come? We have studied you. There is a pattern that surrounds your life. There are many of you, whilst you are here sitting or standing, it's like there is a voice that is speaking to you. Will the nations ever celebrate Jesus upon this life? You don't have to be in ministry. As it were, fivefold. The grace of God. Neither do men light a lamp. The key word is light the lamp. If the lamp does not have fire, it can be thrown anywhere. But the moment light comes, it says you cannot hide it. It will burn everything under until it gives light. He say in that simile to let your light so shine. Someone prophesy, so shine. Say it to yourself, so shine. So shine. So shine. So shine. Beyond Abuja, beyond Nigeria. So shine. So shine. For his glory, for his majesty. Now listen please the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ did you see the word grace there the next word we see there is love the third word we see there is communion they coexist grace love fellowship that you access grace by contending for high-level spiritual illumination backed up by a life of prayer if you have a problem of prayer in this church you are not genuinely connected i submit to you sincerely and truthfully because he says ye are all partakers of my grace there is an abundance of grace that can shake away prayer laxity if only you have the discernment to tap into it and fellowship with the spirit let me tell you this the secret of being visible is to be hidden. You see, when you can learn to hide in his presence, it will compel the nations to look for you. Where did I find that scripture? Give us Mark chapter 1, please, from verse 35. Let me show you the formula for visibility. Mark 1, 35. We're reading to 37. The Bible says, after Jesus finished all his crusades, mighty works in righteousness. The Bible says, and in the morning, rising up a great while before day. Is that in your Bible? He went out and departed into a noisy place, into a market square, 
a solitary place and there pray. What was the result? Simon and they that were with him followed him. May this be your testimony, verse 37. Read with me. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. All men seek for the one who is hiding to pray. All men seek for the one who is hiding to study. All men seek for the one who is hiding to rise in light. All men seek for the one who is hiding to know. They do not seek for the ignorant. They do not seek for the proud. They do not seek for the valueless. You must contend for high level spiritual illumination. Listen, many of us, the end of this conference should be the start of your retreat. You should go back and say, Lord, we have to flog out this issue of destiny. I am tired of an average life. There is an abundance of grace that can rest upon me. I'm tired of people suspecting me as though you did not call me. Hear me. It is one thing to be called. But Apostle Paul encourages us. He says, give diligence to these things to make your calling and your election sure. That means it is your responsibility to stop people from doubting the validity of your call. Jesus, a man approved by miracles, signs, wonders. Apostle God has called me into the financial realm. Congratulations. We will give you some time. And if we don't see a seed, we have a right to say, listen, faith is not foolishness. If it is not working, go and seek for true light. Are we together? You have tolerated ignorance in your life too much. You have gauged your success by poor and wrong parameters. And you have accredited yourself where you should be challenging yourself to rise. It is amazing that Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father and he's still making intercession. As though what he did were not finished. That is the spirit of a champion. Having said it is finished, Paul at the zenith of his apostolic ministry he said, this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press. Looking unto Jesus, he said, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, is that in your Bible, that he endured the cross and he despised the shame. I made up my mind that for as long as I am alive, nothing will hinder my pressing. I will learn I will grow, I will build, I will stretch, I will challenge myself. It was Bishop Abioye who said, how am I stretched? Stretching does not kill. He said, I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. You are a business owner here. Throw it. The time you use for jealousy and pitying yourself is the same energy you would need to invest yourself in superior knowledge. Knowledge is like a lift. It can lift you. In certain nations of the world, there are buildings that are up to 200 stories and in a matter of minutes, the lift is at such tremendous speed, sometimes you don't even know you are rising. You just know you started and it's gotten there. Your life may look like you, are, you don't even, you see the thing with mastery is sometimes it's so effortless, you are not even aware how fast you are going except that thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph from one level of results, one, one dimension of exploits to the other. Hallelujah. The key again, I repeat as we prepare to pray, high level spiritual illumination. Go and write the various aspects of your life where you have not seen the grace of God speaking. Be very sincere with yourself. I have seen that there is no favor in my life. It's, this is not negative confession. This is acknowledging what is there so you can deal with it. Two of you can be walking as friends. They will greet and bless one person and leave you. And the person who blessed him knows you more. It tells you that thing is not working. When, listen, when Samuel met with Saul, 
Saul told him by reason of what has come upon you you will be returning back and you will see three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give to you you think people just give no. thou anointest my head with oil I see what is on my head by looking at my cup if my cup is empty don't blame the cup the cup is a report card that there is nothing on your head hallelujah if there are 10 people to be favored in this room I will start praying for the remaining nine because one position has been occupied for sure you see let me tell you something about knowledge knowledge gives you stability the Bible says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times are we together now it's time for us to settle down some of you need to go and get Reverend Sam's teaching and get all of the teachings you can find and settle down and now begin to listen don't say I was there when he preached it is the result speaking if the answer is no go back again are we together oh I read Papa Hagin's book what was on him is it on you now read again I prophesied as I was commanded I saw some results and he said prophesy again again is a powerful word it is the press for perfection again I fasted but I can fast again I studied but I can study again I was serious with God and later became unserious I can be serious again for someone this is your prophetic word tonight again God is saying go back again go back again go back again go back the same way it was while you were with him on campus I'm saying this prophetically God is saying there was something you and me did while you were on campus as soon as you came out the vicissitudes of life have eroded your passion eroded your prayer life eroded your work with God some of these before you started making money and that word again like the hair of Samson God is calling you Void yourself of these distractions and return to the place where you can say again. Man of God, the prophetic word you saw for the nations that you are a prophet, you saw it 10 years ago, till now it has not spoken because the grace, please help them. We'll spend the last few minutes and I'll just pray for you, but just help them. I just sense that there is a shift in the atmosphere. The anointing that is shifting in the atmosphere is an anointing that is bringing stability back. There are people's lives that are, it's, it's like a reed before the wind. Please hear me. Listen very carefully. We're about to pray. Please be sensitive now. Spiritual illumination, back talk, by a life of intense prayer and fellowship with the secret is the key to ever increasing grace the abundance of grace please bring the gentleman that shouts now under the anointing as I mentioned abundance of grace I just saw the word prophet and I saw light on someone a gentleman I don't know who that person is please when you find him bring him we're going to pray just a few minutes shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me The part of the song I like. I am victorious. I have overcome. I am victorious. Ali, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, Ali, Ali, oh. Oh, 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 oh,
Man of God, go and find out what is the key to church growth. Don't argue it. Results are exact in the spirit. Go and find out what has God placed upon his servant. The secrets of men are contained in their words. You know God by knowing his word. So you know men by studying their words. Their speakings are a revelation of their mindset, their understanding. You may not have the liberty for close proximity, but you can draw close to their minds using the vista of their words. Settle down. Find the area in your life that is not working and invest in light. Back it up with prayer. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2 and verse 42, it says, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and in fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayer. Acts chapter 4 and verse 33, and now we pray and I wrap up. The Bible says, and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection and great grace was upon how many? That means all of us can carry great grace. Great power comes with great grace. Great grace comes with great knowledge. Great grace was upon them all. Listen, the quality of your witness in this end time depends on the level of unction and enabling grace that you carry, which is a product of the time you have invested in the study of the word. High level spiritual illumination, intense moments of prayer, and fellowship with the spirit nothing else will replace these keys whether you want to be an extraordinary ceo an exceptional man of god you want to become an exceptional father mother leader the formula is the same you cannot ignore the word of god ignore the ministry of prayer and fellowship with the spirit one communication of the spirit in the place of fellowship can equal the next 20 years of relevance in your life. Listen, we have gotten to times in the church age where depending on the intellect alone or over dependence I would say on the intellect will prove to be costly in the days that come. Because let me tell you the truth. There are trajectories we are about to tour that no man can claim to have had the experience. Not within this dispensation. You would have to be three, four hundred years old to tell us I've seen this before. Everybody who saw that cyclical move has gone. So we are infants relative to the moves coming. You need to depend on the ancient of days. There is a fountain of wisdom you must tap in the place of fellowship. Only God will tell you what the next ten years of ministry will be. Reverend Sam spoke about my teaching so graciously and I'm so grateful for that. But let me tell you, as at the time God instructed me to start putting teachings online, internet was just in its infancy within the African soil. And the Lord spoke to me, we, if I think Facebook just started or so, and he told me, he said, put these teachings quality of production very poor was not I mean sometimes you would have to stretch to listen to some of the audios and he said put it online and my angel will take it to the ends of the earth have you had God for 2023 20, till 2033 has he spoken to you don't assume it to be business as usual COVID has taught us the, the, the excellency of staying with the spirit to navigate the ever changing world that we live in Billionaires fell to nothing within one year because of over dependence on the flesh. Proverbs 3 5 to 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, it says, and lean not on your own understanding. The next verse says, In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. I love verse 7. It says, Be not wise in your own eyes. It says, Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. You can be wise in your eyes. Hallelujah. With great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection and great grace. You are lifted by grace when you are lifted through knowledge. 
you are lifted by grace when you are lifted through high level illumination listen there is no amount of darkness you will confront in this life that does not have a light component to drive it away john 1 5 and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not is someone ready to pray i plead for a few minutes just a few minutes so that we can just cap this and 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 take some moments to pray don't allow this year not after this gilgal experience don't allow this year listen let me tell you regardless the prophetic word every year remains like the previous year until you engage until you engage remember this word exceeding precious promises commitments bound by conditions bound to conditions Cain and Abel went to offer sacrifices one walked in keeping with the patterns Abel his sacrifice was accepted Cain compromised on the pattern and his sacrifice was not accepted he was angry and God said why are you wrought if you had done it will you not be accepted the same Lord is rich unto all what has God done to the sister you said in your church here or another person and it looks like he's not done it to you for others it's a matter of time like your pastor has said haven't done all to stand you just stand and wait with patience until it comes but for others you are waiting in vain because you have not even done anything waiting for a harvest over a seed you have not sown is fraud so you need to ask yourself have I sown don't just say I'm expecting a harvest the danger is that it's time that will reveal both whether you have sown well or not I made up my mind as a commitment I started this from my time of retreat I made up my mind that I would be I would press and stretch myself not from a competitive standpoint but that there are heights virgin dimensions in the spirit we must press and we must touch as I study God's generals and these people my goodness this is child's play relative to the levels of the grace that these people touched dimensions that makes you a blessing to nations I vowed a vow in the name of Jesus that I would never stand on any man's pulpit and preach rubbish and waste their time and they just clap and say, show him the way. No, no, no. There are souls to be saved. There are lives to be transformed. For some people, that is the last sermon. That sermon represents the last, the last string of mercy they have for their deliverance. My life must change. My life must change Cause I've touched your grace I've touched your grace My life must change My life must change I've touched your grace I've touched your grace you will never be the same you've touched this grace your life must change you will never be I like you to begin to thank God for this teaching tonight everywhere while you are standing I saw several people outside the overflows and those who are following from across the globe now is the point where you press come on this is a church of prayer this is a place of prayer is someone praying just a minute or two to press Mark 11 24 what things soever ye desire when ye pray 
when ye pray, when ye pray, man of God, pray, businessman, pray, captain of industry, pray, mother, father, pray. It's a new season. There is an abundance of grace that God is bringing to the body of Christ. But the grace follows after abundance of knowledge, high level spiritual illumination. Obtain grace to press for knowledge. Obtain grace to press for knowledge. Someone is praying. You're going to cry. Listen carefully. It says the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion. It's the word koinonia. The fellowship, the sharing together. You see, it's important for you to pray. Obtain grace to stay with the word until light comes. Isaiah 61 and 2 Amplified says, arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. Shine for your light is come. You don't arise and shine because you are tired of sitting. You arise and shine because your light is come. Not because your light is around. It's been around since 2015 for someone. But it has not come to you. May this be the year that it comes. Are you ready to pray? I obtain grace. Someone pray. Open up your mouth and pray. Grace to contend for superior light. The Bible says that he made many lights, but there were two great lights. One to rule the day and the other to rule the night. And then he made the stars also. Go ahead and pray. The light that empowers me to rule the day, the light that empowers me to rule the night, I obtain, I obtain. By diligent study, I, Daniel, understood by books. I, Daniel, understood by books. Someone pray. I obtain grace to be a student of scripture. I obtain grace to be disciplined towards my press for light, definite light, marvelous light, light that illuminates every darkness in my life. I obtain grace to invest in prayer. Someone is praying. I obtain grace to invest in prayer. But we will give ourselves continually. Acts chapter 6 and verse 4. We will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The nations are calling for the mantle God has put upon your life. Man of God, the nations are calling for the grace he has put upon you. Oh Esther, oh Ruth. Oh Deborah, oh Elijah, the nations are calling. Hallelujah. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. In my life, you are proving over every darkness. You are causing times to shine from God. Prophesy one time upon your life. You are proving over every darkness. You are causing times to shine from God. Now, spare me a minute. I want you to pray. Every grace you have seen 
at work in the life of your man of God, I stand in faith with you. I want you to place a demand upon it right now. By reason of being grafted to this spiritual tribe, him and his wife, the grace, the years of sacrifice in the spirit, I'm releasing my faith with you. Pray, what have you seen work in his life? What have you seen God do in this church? Is someone praying? Don't let pride keep you in that position. What have you seen God do in his life? Father, you have lifted him. Let that grace come upon me. Are you praying? That the Lord who took him from the city of Azarain Bauchi and lifted him to become a voice across the nations. Lord, you can lift me right where I am. From where thou art, he says, lift up your eyes. Someone is placing a demand. And all of you who are connected to his prayer platform, there is a chance to pray all across the globe, placing a demand upon the grace that God has put on his life. Father, I obtain the grace for vibrancy in prayer. I obtain the grace to understand the capacity to understand scripture. Grace for fellowship with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. 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 There is the abundance of grace that a man can have. I stretch my hands now. Something is going to fall right now, just in one minute. I come as one sent in the name of the Lord. I want you to receive this with all your heart. You will be surprised what will happen to you. In the name of Jesus, Father, you have sent me here not only to preach, but to impart. I stretch my hands right now. Let that fire, that grace. Oh, speak from your heavens and the earth will sing. Oh, speak from the heavens now hear from the earth. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear my altar is calling you oh God my sacrifice is calling you oh God let the grace for visibility the grace that can cause a territory that hear ye him anointing in the name of Jesus, I impart that grace upon you now. Receive that Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Visibility in ministry. Visibility in your family. From where you are, rise and let the nation see Jesus from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every delay in your life, whatever has tied you in the same position, there are two systems of advantage that are given by God to men to redeem time. Number one is restoration. Number two is speed. I call upon these twofold graces. May they rest upon your life now. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Hallelujah. Your pastor is a blessed man. God has shown him mercy. I want to stand in faith with him and speak. Can I tell you the truth? Believe me when I tell you, if you are not empowered economically, you will never be able to be an effective witness. The name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes resources to lift it up. If you will lift it with integrity. Did you hear what I said? The name of Jesus is very heavy. 
it takes resources to lift it high enough for the nations to see God who has helped this precious man and his wife I'm standing in faith listen if you believe in this prayer I'm praying for you many of you have been in this city a land of plenty but the two lip gates has been closed over your hands I pray for you by the grace that helps men even financially between now and the next three months I stand by the grace and the oil of this call I declare may my God surprise you may my God surprise you may my God surprise you access to favor uncommon kindness uncommon access uncommon acceptance hallelujah many of you hear me you are in this church but you are not genuinely connected to the anointing genuinely connected Jesus said all that you have given me I have kept we only keep what we are given that stays as though he says except the son of perdition he had to explain why Judas let me tell you spiritual fatherhood is a responsibility you account for those God gave you and there are many of you that are sincerely genuinely not connected you connect through honor you connect through giving you connect through your prayer you connect by supporting what it is the dimension of God committed to the man that God has given you are we together I don't know what has mocked God in your life but in the name of Jesus it ends now it ends now it ends now it ends now therefore by the privilege of God's grace standing on all the graces that have ministered here and the graces that will be coming and then the grace upon this precious man and his wife in the name of Jesus Christ I move you move to the next level move to the next level spiritually move to the next level spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ you are here and you are saying apostle I've heard everything you have said but I confess before Jesus and before his people I cannot say for sure I have accessed even the saving grace you cannot get the enabling grace until you have received the saving grace the administration of the enabling grace is for those who are in Christ remember in our teaching of grace we said it is all spiritual blessings that are routed through the office of Christ now listen very carefully before Jesus returns there will be a harvest mighty evangelical voices across the globe have been prophesying this I have seen it many times in my visions even in recent times that there is a prophetic harvest a harvest like never before because this gospel of the kingdom must be preached as a witness to the ends of the earth and then the end will come so there is an abundant supply of grace and of the spirit enabling as many who have taken God seriously to be able to frontier the course of the kingdom across the nations please hear me there are people here who are saying apostle reverend Sam I cannot truly say that I am saved and for others you are saying well I remember making this decision but truly I cannot say as at now that my relationship with Jesus is intact you may be inside you may be outside the overflow or you may be across the globe I understand there are people watching from across the continents of the earth wherever you are watching by television perhaps even by a rebroadcast Jesus Christ is speaking to you right now this is my last function here I'm going to call on all of those who are making this decision right where you are if I plead that you just clear the way please for them I'm going to count one to five and I want you with boldness to come and stand before Jesus here please just stand make sure they don't interrupt the man of God whether you are rededicating your life to Jesus or making this I'm just looking for one sincere person who is saying there is no pretense I came to church you are inside those coming from outside if it's for salvation please let them come I'm counting one to five now run to Jesus run to Jesus there's nothing to be ashamed of 
run to Jesus please don't kneel stand for the sake of space so that others can come God's people is this the best you can do as you celebrate them He has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Come, come. Come. Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for this bold decision. And those who are connecting again by way of television, the internet, as I lead these precious ones to pray, make sure you pray. I believe an email or um, something will be projected from, you from the screen and then you would see a link or an information to just let the church know that you made Jesus Lord of your life and then to connect you to the prayer platform for your spiritual nourishment. Hallelujah. All of you who have come, I salute you for making this most noble decision. This is the noblest decision that any man can make on this side of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. No matter how bad things are, it doesn't matter what yesterday was, he's able to give you a new beginning. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender to Jesus. Go ahead, high above your head. Please say this after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe you rose again for my justification right now. I make Jesus my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I declare that I'm a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name keep your hands lifted father thank you so much for this harvest we receive them and we declare in the name of Jesus based on the authority of scripture we declare your sins forgiven we call you bona fide recipients of the life of God from tonight we declare that you walk in righteousness even in the abundance of grace I commend you to the word and to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. And I decree and declare that you go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' matchless name I pray. Amen. Now watch this. All of you who are here, please may I request that you move to my right. There's someone waving his hands. Um, my left will be your right. Let's celebrate them as they go. If you counsel us, we'll have a word with you and then you will be back to your seat. Thank you. Thank you. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise us now We raise us now Are you celebrating Jesus? For He is God and God Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof 
if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you